welcome back to the Curious Kid Podcast. We live in a pretty woodsy area with lots of trees. It's not unusual to find some interesting animals in our yard. This one time, we had a groundhog living under our shed. When we set a trap to catch and remove him, we caught a cat. When we let the cat go, the next animal we caught was a possum. We never ended up catching the groundhog. We've seen deer in our yard, and we've seen snakes too. Olivia has a favorite animal that she spotted in our yard. She even picked the animal up, gave it a little massage, and then let it go. Before she let it go, she gave it a name. She named it Hoppity Dop. Can you guess what kind of animal Hoppity Dop is? Because that's the animal we're going to learn a lot about today. Here we go. Triple mailbag! Triple mailbag! I have questions from Connor, who is five and lives in Alameda, California. He is curious about spinach and what makes it taste good. He is also curious about frogs, and he wonders how frogs jump so high and why they feel so slimy. He also wonders what is inside of a frog. We love the show. Thank you. Hi, my name is Piper and I'm five years old. My sister Isla and I just caught our first tree frog. We're curious about frogs. What do they eat? Do they live with their family? How do they talk? We're also curious about unicorns. We love listening to Curious Kid Podcast. Thank you for all the wonderful information you share. Piper and Isla from Princeton, Iowa. We love your podcast. It's super cool to learn new things. We especially love your episodes about animals. We are curious about frogs and toads. Thank you so much, Zipporah and Vanessa. I love frogs, and I'm also very curious to learn more about them. Let's get curious about frogs for Connor, Piper, Isla, Zipporah, Vanessa, and of course, Hoppity Dog. Let's hop to it, because there is so much to know about frogs. What's the question of the week? Frogs shed their skin in a process called sloughing. How often do frogs completely shed their skin? While you're thinking about the answer, let's learn about one of the most fascinating creatures on the planet. Frogs. They're great jumpers, they can be super colorful, and they have some really strange and cool abilities. Let's learn where frogs live, what makes them so special, and why they're important for the planet. For starters, frogs are amphibians, which means that they can both live in water and on land. They're part of a group of animals that also includes toads, newts, and salamanders. Frogs are known for their smooth, moist skin and long, powerful legs, which help them jump really far. Some frogs can jump up to 20 times their body length. That would be like you jumping across a basketball court in a single leap. Frogs come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Some are tiny, like the gold frog from Brazil, which is about the size of your fingernail. Others, like the goliath frog in Africa, can grow as big as a small cat. Frogs can live just about anywhere. They live on every continent except for Antarctica because it's way too cold there. They are most common in warm, wet places like the rainforests, but you can also find them in ponds, streams, deserts, and even high up in the mountains. One second. Did you say frogs can be found in the desert? Don't they need water to survive? That's a great point, but there are some frogs, like the spadefoot toad, that are adapted to living in dry areas. They burrow underground and only come out when it rains. There are also tree frogs that you may see hanging out on tree leaves. They are amazing climbers. They live in forests and have sticky pads on their toes to help them grip branches and leaves. So, different frogs can be found just about everywhere. On the ground, in water, and even in trees. They found ways to live in almost every environment on Earth. One really fascinating thing about frogs is that they don't start off as frogs. They go through a metamorphosis. If you listened to our episode about butterflies, you may know that butterflies start out as caterpillars 
before they go through an amazing transformation. Well, frogs also go through an amazing change. Frogs start as eggs, which their moms usually lay in water. Then, those eggs hatch into tadpoles. Tadpoles are those little wiggly things that look like fish. They have tails and gills, which help them swim and breathe underwater. As they grow, they start to sprout legs. Their tails shrink, and their gills turn into lungs so they can breathe air. And then, ta-da, they're frogs. It's quite the amazing transformation. And if that isn't cool enough, frogs have some really cool superpowers. Well, they can't fly, but they can do other things that seem pretty magical. For example, some frogs are able to change color to blend in with their surroundings. They camouflage themselves with their surroundings to hide from predators. Some frogs, like poison dart frogs, are super poisonous. Their bright colors warn other animals not to mess with them. Some frogs can even survive being frozen solid in winter. Wood frogs, for example, freeze like ice cubes and then thaw out in the spring. Good as new! And there are even frogs that can glide through air. It's about as close as frogs come to flying. These gliding frogs have webbed feet that act like parachutes. On top of being amazing, frogs are so important to overall balance of animals in the world. That's because they are a key part of the food chain. They eat insects like mosquitoes, which help keep their populations under control. They are also food for other animals like birds, snakes, and fish. If frogs disappear, it would throw the whole ecosystem out of balance. Unfortunately, many frog species are endangered because of habitat loss, pollution, and climate change. Plus, a disease called chytrid fungus has been harming frog populations around the world. We can help protect our habitats by keeping our waterways clean and supporting conservation efforts. Even small actions can make a big difference. All right, Olivia. I think we definitely made the case that frogs are amazing animals. But your brother is about to join us as soon as he takes care of the frog in his throat. That's just a saying that is used sometimes to describe someone that is having trouble speaking due to emotion or fear. Here with five unbelievable facts you need to know about frogs is Noah. Take it away, Noah. Fact number one. The loudest frog in the world is the Puerto Rican Koki. Its call can reach up to 100 decibels, which is as loud as a chainsaw. Fact number two. There's a frog called the glass frog, which, as you can imagine, is totally see-through. You can actually see its organs. How cool! Fact number three. Frogs don't drink water. Even though many people think they do, they absorb water through their skin instead. Fact number four. Some frogs carry their babies on their backs, like the surname toad. The eggs actually sink into the mom's skin. Whoa, that's crazy. Fact number five. When a frog swallows its yummy prey, it closes its eyes tightly at the same time. A frog can't swallow without closing its eyes. When they do this, the frog actually pushes its eyeballs down to the top of its mouth. They can do this because their eye sockets are not bony. Doing this helps push food down the throat. Nicely done, Noah. It's now time to answer the question of the week. How often do frogs shed or slough their skin? Frogs go through the process of sloughing about once a week. When it happens, they actually shed their entire layer of outer skin in one piece. Then comes the wild part. After shedding the outer layer of skin, a frog will often eat this skin to recycle nutrients. Yum! They shed their skin to remove the junk, like dirt and parasites, that build up on their skin. Some frogs do this daily, while others do it every couple of weeks. On average, frogs shed their skin about once a week. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode. Thanks so much for listening to this week's podcast, number 297, on frogs! Great job, Olivia, and great job, Connor, Piper, Isla, 
Zipporah, and Vanessa for this slimy, but also adorable, episode topic suggestion. We are just three weeks away from episode number 300. In that episode, we are going to get curious for Olivia and Noah. Do you want to know what they're curious about? You won't have to wait much longer. Join us next week when we will get curious about dishwashers for listeners in Kansas. As always, thank you so much for listening and getting curious with us. This is a PSA, or public sock announcement. Experts have declared Bombas socks as the best way to warm up chilly feet. These pairs are super cushy, soft, and designed for maximum coziness. Plus, for every pair purchased, another pair will be donated, so someone in need of essential clothing can stay warm this winter. Go to bombas.com slash listen and use code listen for 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash listen and use code listen at checkout.